Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles. I want to thank you for coming by this morning. I've got uh, about a half a dozen projects going on here, so uh, I'm going to start with the first one first, which is this uh, ball valve that came from a condensate drain, and it's an uh, inch and a quarter, which is a little odd for, for plumbing stuff, but and if you look can you see it right there? This thing split last winter right there and was leaking like a sieve. So and I'm going to take it apart, get that the ball, <coughs> excuse me, the ball out of it. And it's solid brass. It's yellow brass, but it's still solid brass. So that'll be one of the projects we'll start this morning. Be back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the pipe wrench on it. I just broke it loose. Uh, put this inch and a half pipe on the handle of this 18 inch pipe wrench like you this goes on here and this gives me a lot more crank if you will because this thing is really corroded it's probably well, this is probably 20 years old anyhow I'm surprised it lasted this long This will get us part way apart. Boy, it's tight to the last thread. Mm -hmm. I might have to go to the 24 maybe, huh? Yike. Ah, no, we got it. We got it. Wow. It's probably a little bit wonky on the threads there because of the freezing like that. seat we can pull that seat and that'll be solid brass yeah not a bad piece of brass I said yellow brass but this almost looks like red brass but I'll have to clean it up a little bit to see so so and then there's the stainless steel ball in there which we'll have to take this apart so again be back all right, guys, got the handle off. That was just a little 5 8 nut. And, I'm sorry, a little 9 16 nut. And now this shaft should come out to get the ball. In fact, the ball keeps turning, so we need, we need, we need something in here to jam it, don't we? So we'll do it. More screwdriver. Hmm. Honest, I'm trying. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Everything is so corroded, it's tight to the last red, so. We're going to take just a minute, and I'll put this on high speed so you don't have to sit here forever. Okie dokie. There that is. And now, and now, we'll just go the other direction here. Well, this is not going to be a toughie. All right, be back. All right, guys, the ball is out, and you can see by the slot here, that's what held the ball in over here on the uh, on this piece. If you look, that end has a little square deal there. So 
that just fits in it. Can never find this. There it is. So that fits. <laughs> oh there. Okay. Right there. That's where it fits. And this turns it like that. So, so that's out. This is out. That's solid brass. This is steel. I don't think it's stainless. And if you ever have a chance to get one of these, this punch right here, this is a, uh, a steel workers, iron workers punch uh, for driving out rivets uh, and whatnot. It's a really good punch. It's uh, you can really put some effort into it. Into the uh, has a big head, so you don't hit fingers very often. Tapers down real small so you can hit in the holes and drive things out, and that's what I drove this out with. So anyhow, that's that. We're done with this one. Be back. Right, guys, stuff all out of that valve. Uh, this ended up being, this is actually red brass if you look at it. The reddish color compared to the ball that isn't steel, or isn't stainless, it's yellow brass underneath. You can see the yellow right here and compare it to the valve body, it, it's definitely red brass. So I got this little piece, that steel and the nut, and the rest of this yellow brass. Alright, that's it for this one. Another project over. Be back. Well guys, it's a new morning. It's 8.30 in the morning this morning. I got a little bit of a late start today and it's already 82 degrees, so I'm definitely in the shop today. What you're looking at there on the screen is a pump motor armature out of a water pump, a 12 volt DC water pump. Uh, still has the uh, brush crown on it, and we're going to split it today here. I've already driven the, the shaft out of the motor. You can see it's gone, so it's already in the scrap. So we'll take it over there to the 20 ton press and take it apart. Get the copper. Alright guys, I already got it in the 20 ton press. Got the blade set. So we're just going to go ahead and split it. to the bench and be back. I was going to show you how easily this comes apart now and uh, I started to but look at this. It just, <laughs> this one just comes right apart. That's amazing. I've never had one come apart like this. And that is really good. And the 20 ton just takes and splits the steel, the core, and this just falls apart. Awesome! I love it. I love it. That's plastic, that's steel, this is copper, and that's steel, and that's plastic, and that's junk. So all of this is number two copper. So we'll start a number two copper bucket, and that'll be it. Okay, on to the next one. Well guys, we uh, had a couple problems, and this is strictly me, not uh, the machine. If you look here, I've got a clamp holding my board down and my wire's coming up here. 
And if you look, see it's already starting to curl around here. And the next curl catches around there. And it stalls it, and I couldn't figure it out for a while, but... Uh, and then it would slip in here. So that, that's the only problem I've had with this. And for right now, I think we've got exactly two minutes. And uh, I, I've pulled these three coils of uh, copper off. Like the words say, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share with a friend. Give a great comment. Subscribe. Hit the bell to get future notifications. And definitely come back.